Hello everyone, this is Captain Sovan. Welcome back to Final Fantasy. And when we left off, we defeated the pirate guy, which is over here, I believe. Yeah, we defeated him, killed all his crew, and he gave us a ship because he had no longer use for it because he no longer has a crew. So we can start actually exploring the world and probably... <laughs> you stop being dumb and stop being weird, please. Please. You know, whatever. <laughs> God dang it. <laughs> Wait for me. <laughs> Um, so we can actually start exploring the world now since we have access to a ship. But the thing is, I mean, I want to explore, try to find different creatures to fight, um, but we really still need um, to get more of our magic going. Let's see. Uh, yeah, because you don't have a level 2 magic yet. And you don't have level 2 either. But if we get to the next area and then start using... Um, We'll start upgrading our gear to get a little bit more powerful, then we can always come back for the magic stuff. Um, so, yeah, it's great. Let's go explore. I like the music when you're exploring in a ship. Do, 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 do. Oop, what did we find? Holy crap, what the freak are those? The Sogs? Are they lethal? They look like Floating lizards. We may possibly die here, guys. Um, Carl, no, you're a mage. You, oh yeah, I forgot I, I gave you the dark ability, which we don't need for this. I'm assuming these are like the wolves. They just have a high evasion, high attack, but uh, low hit points. Let's check that out. You fight that. Um, I guess just to be on the safe side, put a shield on Carl, or up is a defense, and I will attack that one. Oh crap, I used Cure. <laughs> I was supposed to use the defense ability. Oh well, I healed him anyway, so that's fine. Ooh, that guy did 12 damage. Sid Miss. So my theory might be correct. They might act like the wolves, where they do a lot of damage but don't have a lot of health. Yeah, see, that would be a lot less if I actually hit the right ability. Ugh. <sighs> Six damage. You know, maybe fire wasn't the right ability because of the fact these guys are water creatures. I'm gonna try lightning. Because of my Pokemon knowledge. Ooh, crap, you got a critical hit on Carl. Jeez, Carl's about to die. If my Pokemon knowledge is right, these guys should be weak against lightning. But, you know, I don't wanna lose anybody because I just started adventuring. So you go ahead and run, you go ahead and run, you heal him, but you run. God dang, what do you mean can't run? Okay, good, they missed Carl. They attacked me, but they missed. That's fine. Sid took a little damage. Sue used Cure to get Carl's health back up. And... Good, because Carl just got damaged, but he didn't die because he got cured. And Carl ran. Sweet. That was, a. Uh... Why didn't I go back and heal everyone before I started adventuring? Eh, whatever. Um, let's see. Magic, you, cure, Carl. And you're out of cures. <sighs> what do I want to do? How much money do we have? 231. 232. Let's go back. We just got this boat, we went adventuring, now we're going back to get healed. Makes perfect sense, doesn't it? Ah, God, will you stop getting in my way? Please, mister, stop being weird. Please, I'll chase you all around. I'll push you out of this village. Come on. No, I want to push you out of the village. Come on, keep going, keep going. Yeah, fine. Uh, he won't let me push him out of the village. How dare he? He keeps getting my way every time I come in the village. Um, yes, I totally want to save my game. It doesn't matter because I save it on the emulator side instead of the game side. Cool. So everyone's healed. All of our magic is back up to normal. Um, let's attempt to get to the next village. Or, not village. Um, city again. I think I'm supposed to listen to those NPCs because they're supposed to tell me what I'm supposed to do next. There's... 
apparently like an elven village that's under attack I'm supposed to rescue. What the f- ooh, a shark. Screw it, let's try it. Um, let's use lightning. Ooh, wait, actually, dark would be even better. Because it's only one unit. Wait. Does dark affect everything? We'll find out. Alright, you fight. You actually use fog, not cure, please, on Carl. And I fight. Here we go. Carl's armor went up. I hit the shark and missed. Oh well. Carl cast dark. On the shark. Shark now has darkness, which means it's harder for him to hit, easier for us to hit him. 31. Nice hit. Holy jeez, monkey. That's even with the armor. Holy crap, these sharks hit hard. Why did I hit so freaking hard? Quickly, lighting it to death. <sighs> I have a feeling my guys aren't quite ready to adventure, but I have no choice. I need to find the next area so that I can upgrade my armor. I hope the shark gives me lots of uh, money. Dang it, Sid. Come on, he has darkness on it. You still miss. Ugh. What am I gonna do with these guys? 30 damage. Lightning on the shark. 56. Yeah, I kind of figured. I mean, they're in the water, so I can... Take more damage from my lightning based attacks. Cool, the shark missed. <laughs> oh boy. Um, keep using your lightning ability. You fight. You cure Carl. And I fight. Yay! Lightning! Hooray! Okay, that shark hit <laughs> pretty freaking hard. But we killed him! Hooray! 66 gold. I mean, it's kind of worth it. A little bit less than I thought. The experience is definitely worth it. 66. For one creature. Not too bad at all. Ooh, what do we have here? Oh, I can't go there? Alright. Guess we'll continue sailing around. You know, I want to see if this dark affects everything, because when I looked it up online, I was under the impression that the dark only affects one unit, but if it affects every enemy enemy unit, then it is totally worth it to have that ability. Because um, it will lower the accuracy of all the enemies by 20 and increase our accuracy by 20. So yeah. Um, you use fog, and that's all you can do. Because you're out of spells again. And I will fight that one. Stop attacking Carl before I have him buffed up. God dang it, you stupid things. Thank you, Sue. Get Carl's armor up. Thirteen. Okay. Yay, missed. That's awesome. Now let's see what this dark does. Oh, I think it does attack everyone. That one's ineffective. Wait. Oh, I guess ineffective means missed. So it does target every enemy, but there's a chance that it's not actually going to infect them. So the top one was not infected, but the rest look like they are. That's awesome. Okay, cool, so I'm not afraid of those freaking uh, wolves anymore with this darkness ability. So the top one missed, which means that the rest we have to kill, then kill the top one last. Okay, um... I think you're out of magic abilities, aren't you? Oh, you got two more. Eh, screw it. Let's use lightning on that one. 
Sid, you fight that one. You help Sid, and I guess I'll fight that one. Oh, Luigi's monkey. That's a lot of damage. I missed. Oh, Sue doesn't have much accuracy, so... We expect from a mage. Mages aren't made for melee combat, they're meant for ranged combat. Ooh, 27. Did we kill it? Ooh, apparently these guys have a lot of health. Lightning did 54. Cool. That one died. I hope these guys are worth the experience. I really hope they are. 26. Okay. Carl's pretty damaged, but he does have the armor up ability on right now. Um, fight that one, fight that one, you fight that one, you fight that one. This might be a bad, a bad idea. Ah, oh, sweet, the bottom one died. Cool, that means I get to miss. Because <laughs> I killed the one that I was fighting. Cool. Cool, we're down to two. That darkness ability helps so much. Sid's getting pretty weak. I mean, Carl's getting pretty weak. Sid's pretty, actually, the second highest at the moment. So, Carl, you fight that one. You fight that one. Actually, everyone. No, I'll fight that one. You three attack the first one. Cool. That one missed. Carl hit it for 10 damage, that's okay. Hey, Carl, they missed Carl, that's good. Okay, miss. Definitely need to get these guys a little more powerful. Terminated, that's awesome. Yeah, of course you missed, because we killed the one you were attacking. So everyone just attack this one. This one unfortunately doesn't have the darkness thing on it, but four versus one should work. Missed. That's fine. Carl's a mage, so I kind of expect that when he does melee. Nice! I got a critical and I killed him. Now, the real question is, was that battle worth it? Was it worth all the hassle to kill those guys? 37 experience, 150 gold. So the experience wasn't worth it, but the gold definitely was. Alright, but the problem is now Sid is, or not Sid, but Carl's very injured, and I don't think I have any way to heal him. So we may have to play, oh, I got almost 400 gold. I could go back and get another magic ability. Carl does have one magic ability yet left. Sue has two level 2 magic abilities, but she doesn't have a ma level 2 magic power. Hmm. How much longer do you guys level up? Oh, you got a while, 400 experience. Um, yeah. Eh, yeah, screw it. Let's keep going. <gasps> we were here! Oh, we're not here. Uh-oh. What the freak are these things? Monster strike first! I think I'm in a bad area, guys. At least they don't do much damage. But they're green, which worries me. They might be poisonous. They are... Arcanides? Quickly, Carl! Burn him! Burn him alive! Sid, you fight. Yeah, you don't have any magic abilities, right? This might be a bad idea. I should be running. Yeah, you know, screw this. Everyone... Run. I just don't feel comfortable fighting them with Sid, or with Carl. Why do I keep calling Carl Sid? Maybe it's because I look at him whenever I talk. But I don't feel comfortable fighting with uh, Carl with so little health and I don't have any way to heal him. Ooh, cool. There's a town here. Yes. Yes. Is this town number three? Please tell me it's town number three. Ooh, it looks pretty nice. Ooh, this is the elven town. Nice. Can I talk to these guys? Hello. Astros, put the prince to sleep. Please save him. Oh yeah, 
Um, I have to save their prince because they went to sleep. I have to find some sort of potion in the dungeon in order to heal them. But please tell me you guys have some sort of, like, shop or something. Please? Please? Wait, do I actually have to go in here? Oh yeah, that's the prince that's asleep. What do you want? For five years the prince has slept. Under Astro's spell, only herb can wake them. So is it any kind of herb? Can I just, like, find, um, like, some hay or something out? Or whatever we use for herbs and just give it to him? Seems pretty vague. Eh, yeah, whatever. So apparently this isn't a town that I can heal from. I mean, I can improve it by waking up the prince, but that's not what I came here for. I came here to get healed. Wait, never mind, that's the castle. There we go. Yay, get out of my way, dude. Thank you. Okay, get everybody healed and get all my powers up. Oh wait, that cost a hundred. Oh god, I forgot I'm in a different area so it costs more money. Which means these are probably level three abilities. I'll have to look into it. But what I really want is some good defense. Go this way. Yeah, right here's the shop. What do you have to sell, dude? Let's see, iron plate. Copper ring? Ooh, here we go. Ooh, we have caps now, too. The caps, I believe, can go on anyone. So, let's see. Yeah, we can all have one. Nice. I definitely want to get a cap for Carl. So let's get caps for the manges. Um, let's see. Yep, I want this one. Put it on Carl. And then buy... Actually, I better make sure that everyone can equip those before I do anything. Because knowing my luck, I'll, I'll spend all my money on all of it and no one can use it. So, yep. Carl can equip it. Let's trade that to Sid. And Sid equip it? Yep. Okay, trade it to Sue. Oops, that's not what I want. I'm gonna equip. Sue can equip it. I'm assuming I can equip it too. But just in case. Yep, everyone can have a hat. Sweet. So the first thing I want to do is give this to Carl, and then let's see Carl's. Whoops, that's not what I want. Let's see Carl's current stats. See, so he does 12 damage, 13% chance of hitting. He has two absorption and 56 evasion. All right. So if we put this cap on, um, what's that put him up to? Oop, that's not what I want. Three absorption. Gives him one more armor. And also, I think the evasion went up a little bit too. Let me double check that because I wasn't really looking for that. Um... Ah, dang it. Dang it! <laughs> I hate it. Maybe when I hit the wrong freaking button. No, nope, status is what I want. His evasion actually went down by 1%. I guess that makes sense. You get one armor, so you lose one evasion. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and put you. And then the same thing for Sue. That way they have a little bit more armor and they can survive a little bit longer in combat. So, cap. Yep, give that to Sue. Now I want to keep a little bit of my money and not spend it all. Um, so, Sue, you equip that? Alrighty. How much... Oops. How much armor does Sid have? Five. 46% evasion. So, Sid has the wooden armor. I think this one has the iron armor now. Yep, the iron armor. Also has the iron shield that I can upgrade my guy with. And the wooden helmet. Cool. I have lots of upgrades to do. 
Yeah, let's go check the weapons shop. I'm not gonna buy anything, but I'm just gonna check it out. See what they have. God dang it. I always make that mistake. Uh, ooh, an iron nunchuck. That can go to our, um, our uh, martial art dude. A large sword. I still have the silver sword, which only my guy can carry, because that's for knights. They have that, which I think upgrades their mange. Ooh, ooh, ooh. They have lots of weapons to play around. Crap. I totally almost bought something <laughs> when I was talking. I was like, uh oh. Okay. Um, let's let's go kill things. We need money. Wolf. Yay. I'm actually happy for these. Because I want to use my dark ability, so I can actually hit these guys. Um, <sighs> um which one do I want to give you? Let's see, fog. Oops, I'm dead. Not the Carl. And I guess me. I will. Wait, which one did I tell Sid to fight? I don't remember. Oh yeah, I told you to fight the first one because um, Carl's going to be using the dark ability. There we go. Ineffective. So it missed the middle wolf. It hit the top wolf. That's good. It hit the bottom one. And did it hit the one in front? Cool. So only the middle wolf didn't get hit, hit by the darkness ability. I love that ability. I think that's my favorite ability in the game so far. I still hit it for 19 damage. Sid hit the top one for 17. Wolf hit the Carl for 12, not too bad. That one missed. Even I got hit by one. Cool. Carl's got arm all that. Um, do I... No, I think they're all weak now, so everyone just fight something. Um, attack that one, and I'll attack the middle one. Woohoo, I killed it. It took 11 damage. Nice! Sue killed it. Haha, -ha, you can't hit me. I'm not afraid of you guys anymore since I have the darkness ability. The only problem is Carl's not really powerful yet, so I can only use that ability twice. Dang it, Sid, you had one job. You had one job to kill that guy. Now we have to waste another turn where everyone's trying to kill it. Carl almost killed it. There we go. Yay! Monsters perish. Now this shouldn't give me much because those guys don't give a whole lot. Yeah, see, 24 XP and 24 health, um, gold. What I really want to find are ogres. I can find some ogres and kill them. That will really make our life better because they give a lot of money. Hey, speaking of ogres, that's awesome. <laughs> All right, darkness first. Um, fight the first one. You put fog on Carl, and fight the first one. Awesome. The ogre missed. Cool, they both missed. Sue uses fog. Armor up. <clears throat> there we go. Didn't do much damage, but it's fine. Didn't do much damage either. Now we got our dark ability going. Hit the first one. Sweet. What about the second one? And it did. Yay! Cool. We're doing good, guys. We're doing good. Um, if I remember, my two magic abilities I have aren't too good against ogres. So I'm going to save that and just fight manually. Um, yeah, just fight 
mean, they have a low chance of hitting us, so I'm not too worried about it. Twelve. Come on, Sid. Twelve. Yikes. I mean, they still have a chance to hit us, but it's low. Twenty-one damage was quite a bit, though. Six. Alright, Sue, so you still have plenty of health. I'm not too worried about you yet. Dang. Alright, it's good, because they both missed. I was thinking something completely different. Okay, come on. Can I hit him? Yes, I can. Is that enough to kill him? Nope, not yet. Ogres have a lot of health. I'm just glad that those darkness abilities last the entire game, or entire fight, so I don't have to worry about it. Yay, I killed the first one, which means everyone's gonna miss. <laughs> uh, Sue's starting to take some damage. Yeah, I know, Sid. I know, it's ineffective. We already killed our target, so all you guys are gonna miss. Okay, Carl, fight. You fight. Um, Sue, heal yourself, please. And I'll fight. Okay. Do, 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 do. Yay! Sue so now has more health. Do, 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 Everybody just fight. Shouldn't have too much health left. Come on, can I kill him? 10 damage, is that enough? Nope. Ow, Carl took some damage. Sue, can you kill him? And nope, got one more round. These ogres have a lot of health, but they're totally worth killing it, because we should get about 300 gold from killing this killing these two ogres. Uh, come on, can you die already? Yay, terminated, hooray! Monsters perished. Ninety-seven XP, which isn't too bad, but three hundred ninety gold. That was more than I thought. Cool. And they like to show up in that little, um, like grassy area. So it's pretty good. All right, cool. We should have enough money to upgrade some of our weapons. Don't think I have enough to upgrade my own weapon. Let's see. Oh, it's only 175 for the next weapon. I want to get the silver, but it's 4,000. It's going to be a while before we get that. So yeah, totally purchased that for myself. And now let's see what we're at. Whoops. Um, status. Let's see. We do 16 damage and we have 29% chance of hitting. What is it if we equip the large weapon, the large sword? If I hit the right thing, it would be amazing. Um, 18 damage and 29% hit rating. They both went up. Cool, so we do more damage and we have a higher chance of hitting, which is awesome because I tend to miss all the freaking time. So let's go ahead and sell that weapon. Sell Captain Sovan's uh, small weapon for five gold. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. So the next weapon we want is probably that. The iron nunchucks. Give that to um, Sid. That'd be his weapon upgrade. Now let's do the same thing with Sid. Um, see, he does 16 damage with 14% chance of hitting. Okay, what's it do now? 
Nope, that's not what I want. I do that all the freaking time. 20 health and 14, 20 damage and 14% chance of hitting. So his damage went up a lot, but his hit rating stayed exactly the same. So, yeah. I think he does more damage than I do. Oh, he does. He does two more damage than me. So Sid is our hardest hitter, um, but he has a lowest chance of hitting, I believe. Let me actually see that. So you have a 14% chance of hitting. Carl has 13%. Sue has 8. And I have 29. So I actually have the highest chance of hitting now since I got an upgraded sword. Eh, pretty cool. Anyways, guys, uh, that's going to do it for this episode. Um, thank you so much for watching. Hit that like if you enjoyed this video. Um, subscribe if you think I'm an awesome entertainer and you want to see more of this stuff. And um, I will continue playing this series because I really do like this game and I never actually really played too much of the Final Fantasy series because I didn't know about it, honestly. The first RPG I ever played, I think, was, M was World of Warcraft, which is more of an MMO than but it's still, you know, part of RPG. And that was the game that really made me fall in love with that stuff. And this, to my knowledge, Final Fantasy was like the birthplace of RPG games. At least to my knowledge. I know there probably were other ones, but that's, that's the best of my knowledge. Anyways, guys, until next time, this is Captain Sobon signing out.